Hello and welcome to Boom News. Uh, our next guest is a child prodigy. Uh, at the age of 14, right now, he is the youngest engineer in the country. Before the age of three, he learned C++ and his interests lie in artificial intelligence, machine learning to aerospace engineering. And he's won several awards uh, over the years. And at, from the age of 10, he started uh, taking a lot of online courses uh, so that he could educate himself and move far beyond his years. Uh, in fact, he knows much more about technology than any one of us can uh, know about it. Uh, Saad Nasser, co-founder at Ati Motors. Uh, Saad, thank you for speaking to us here. And uh, it's a great privilege uh, to have you here. Uh, please tell us about your growing up years. Uh, how have you managed to do so many things uh, at an age when probably most kids would be worried about their school grades and worried about other things in life? So I started out by teaching myself programming languages pretty early on. And around second grade, my teacher, Ms. Sina, she found out I was doing this stuff and introduced me to Mr. Doshi. So, and he's been my mentor since then. Right. So under his thing, I, I was, did the NAND to Tetris course. That is, uh, that is one of the earliest online courses. Right. So in that course, you design a complete computer system. Right. So from your NAND gates, you design a CPU, and then you write a compilers and things like that. And then from there, I, and there I got introduced to Dr. Vinay, who's been mentoring me in math since. Right. So I've, I'm mostly self-taught, but I also have had, been lucky to have several awesome mentors over the years. Right. And I've done quite a few MOOCs on very, very diverse topics, such as cryptography, I've done aerospace, I've done machine learning, AI, those, those kinds. So uh, tell us uh, something about how your average day is like. You know, we know about how uh, normally children, you know, they go to school, they come back, they, you know, they go for some classes, and then they come back, uh, they have an average uh, playtime. Uh, tell us about how your day is like uh, on any given day. I have, I have stuff I'm working on, and basically I just, pick up whatever I feel like doing, I work on it, I get s and get stuff done. It's, it's very amorphous. Right, right. <laughs> and, and sometimes, uh, and quite a f now, nowadays I'm also going uh, quite a few times to our office and we discuss and design things. Right. Uh, so technology is something that uh, you have been very passionate about. Uh, tell us what do you really want to do and what are you working on right now? Yeah, I, I really enjoy uh, doing work on STEM fields. And right now I'm working on an autonomous vehicle startup, Ati Motors. And we are working on an autonomous goods vehicle where, and we want a goods vehicle with the maneuverability of, of a two-wheeler. Because there are a lot of places in the world where you can only reach them by two-wheelers. And, and of course, there are lots of people doing autonomous cars. But we don't want to compete with them. We want to create our own niche. So we, we, decide, we realized that there's such a large portion of two-wheelers that transport goods. And so we're making a vehicle, a, a vehicle that transports goods and has the maneuverability of a two-wheeler. And it's a fully autonomous, so you can send it anywhere. And, and yeah, so. Yeah. And, and, and do you have a large team for this? Or are you working solely on this? We, we how, start, how is this we, we, Yeah, we, I'm, I'm a co-founder. I have a couple of other founders, Dr. Vinay. He's been a co-founder of the Simputer startup, and he also was a co-founder of Strand Life Sciences. And, uh, and another is Mr. Saurabh Chandra. He recently exited from his IT services company, Neve. We, current, we, we started in just a few weeks ago, officially. We were working a bit before that also. Uh, we, we currently are hiring people. We are, on, we are hiring, and we also are look, looking at ISC, so we are do having, we already met quite a couple of ISC professors and we are doing things with them. We, our office in Maleshwaram and we really want to take advantage of the great ecosystem we have around Bangalore. We have our manufacturing hub in Penia, we have real, we have a great academic uh, set at ISC and we really want to make use of these uh, things. So it's quite interesting, you said that uh, there are a lot many people working on autonomous cars and that's not an area that uh, you are probably looking at. You're looking at something which is much more accessible yeah. and, and something which actually can make a difference. Yeah. Uh, can you, ex uh, you know, uh, g tell us more about that? So, for, first of all, our vehicle is not even on roads. So, so we want to make, we want to carve out a re niche for ourselves. So our vehicle is pro going to be used in either off-road or campus uh, areas. And off-road we mean, play, like a lot of mountainous regions, 
you can only access them by motorcycles because a lot of the hills, they're very, very small. A lot, lot of the paths are small. So we, we realized that get delivering stuff there is complicated. It requires multiple humans carrying motorcycles. And motorcycles don't have large cargo capacity because by the time you put the engine and the rider and everything else, right. you have very little th right. space left for cargo. Uh, but will this also get expanded probably to making it uh, uh, no, a single or two people uh, passenger vehicles as well? We, we'll have to see. Right now we are hyper focused on goods. Right. And, and how soon do you think this project will come to uh, we completion? We plan to have a working field prototype in two years. Right. And, and have you been already been approached by many of the uh, transportation companies or auto companies, you know, probably wanting to look at Not what your idea is all about? Not yet, but we probably are. And, and do you plan to take it to them much earlier or do you want the idea to fully develop? Slightly later in our cycle. Probably. Right. Okay. Uh, coming back uh, to this is automation is one part. What yeah. what are the other areas that interest you? What 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 do you plan to do ahead? I, I, I really enjoy uh, all, most engineering and technology fields. I like working on, I, I like CS and blockchain for example and other technologies, AI and machine learning and the related fields, automation and right. robotics. Sad, uh, thank you uh, for speaking to us and all the best. Yeah, thank Thanks. you.